This year, the House opened for business by passing the Washington State version of the DREAM Act. How will this bill affect Washington? I was excited to vote for the DREAM Act as the very first vote of the legislative session. And it was exciting that it came up the first day, which from what I understand is maybe a historic first to have a vote on the very first day. It was particularly meaningful both for my district and for the entire state. The legislative district is so diverse and what the DREAM Act really says is that anyone who is in this country, in this state, and completes high school and wants to go to college can. And that's really the fundamentals. That we are making sure that people have every opportunity that they have without financial constraints. I was pleased on Children's Day when we welcomed children to the floor of the house to also give remarks welcoming all the children. And in it, I referred to the beauty of children and their ability to dream. And a lot of young people's dreams is to go to college and to be the first in their family to do so. And with the DREAM Act, we'll be able to send them on their way. You are the prime sponsor on House Bill 2519. This is a bill about quality early learning for kids in the children's welfare system. What outcomes would you like to see as a result of this bill? There's been lots of exciting discussions already this legislative session about early learning and child care. And the focus has really been on quality. And quality early learning is really important for brain development in young children. And what I'm trying to do is to expand that quality as well as access for children in the child welfare system. You recently spoke at a gun safety rally for Mothers Demand Action. What are some of the reforms you would like to see in our gun laws? What an amazing group of women came down to the Capitol on Friday to really express their heartfelt and strong desire for gun responsibility. And I was pleased to speak at that rally. We need some gun responsibility, and I believe that background checks for all gun purchases is imperative. We need to keep our children safe. We need to keep guns out of hands of people who shouldn't have them, the mentally ill, and people with a criminal record. And this is really imperative that we do that for the safety of our children and our entire community. The Washington Supreme Court recently issued a statement to the legislature letting them know that funding towards complying with the McCleary decision is happening too slowly. What do you think should be done to get us headed in the right direction towards compliance with the McCleary decision? Education is one of the greatest gifts we can give our children. And it is up to the legislature to make sure that we fulfill our paramount duty to fully fund education. Last year, the legislature made a good down payment, although I don't think it was a sustainable down payment. So we really need to start figuring out how we can have a clear and dedicated revenue stream that will fund and fully fund education, including basic education. And right now, there have already been some school districts that have been unable to accept money to fully fund kindergarten because they don't have the physical space to put the children, the actual classrooms. So I think this session, it being a short session, we can start looking at ways that we can provide both capital and some long-term funding to make sure that people can both accept and fully implement the McClary decision and fully funding and implementing basic education.